Okay, this is a video about the uh, KWS 2303C power meter. And that's it right there. It's got USB-C in, C out. That's the little trigger board that can tell the, uh, the charger what, what voltage to go to, what mode to go to. And we'll just pan over there. There's the charger. That's that 25 watt charger capable of 5 volt, 9 volt, and 12 volt. And that's a 12 volt power supply that's feeding or powering my DC load, which is right here, this programmable DC load. And you'll see in the picture that the, uh, the current, the top line there, is set for 1.5 amps. That's the load I want to put on the uh, device. And the device is putting out 5.196.17 volts, whatever. We'll go back to the device. <coughs> And there it is. I'm going to just flip it over. You see the trigger board there. And the trigger board's got a uh, processor on it. And depending on the position of the dip switches, it tells the uh, charger what voltage to go to. Right now it's set for 000. All three switches are down. It's 5 volt. I'm going to reach over and turn on the load. I have to do that over here with this button. And if I hit it, you should see the third line down current goes to 1.5 amps. I'm drawing 1.5 amps. And there you go. And the uh, unit also shows 1.5 amps and 7 point something watts there. I'm going to pause the video and then switch to 9 volts. Okay. Now you see the dip switches are all turned on, 111. And that creates 9 volts from the uh, charger. And I'll reach over again, turn on the 1.5 amp load. And then you have the uh, current and the wattage. I'm going to pause the video again and go to 12 volts. Okay, I'm back. And you can now see that the wall ward is putting out 12 volts. Not drawing any current yet. Dip switches are now at 110. That tells the uh, charger to go to 12 volts. And I'll reach over and turn on the 1.5 amp load. And you can see that now you have 12 volts, 1.5 amps, 17.9 watts. And that's in. Uh, Another little neat feature of the, uh, there's three screens to this thing. I'm going to click this little button that's on the back. There's screen number one. Gives a lot more information. The temperature of the CPU that's inside this device and voltage and all that stuff. Protocol. If I push the little button on the back again, And you get the graph. You can set a time and uh, show the charge rate. It's good for looking at how it charges your device. It'll graph the current and the voltage. And press the button again. And I go back to the uh, screen. This is probably the nicest screen just to see the voltage, the current, and the uh, wattage. Push it again. And we get the... Uh, the screen has a lot, let me see, get this focused here, there you go. A lot more information on it. Oh, keep hitting the button, there's the graph again, get that in focus. And go back to that screen. Now for any reason the, uh, the display is upside down and you can't see it like that. If you double tap that little button on the back, the button I'm pushing is that little gold square right there where the uh, C connector comes into the device. So if the thing's upside down, just double click it and that'll flip the display so you can read it. This is a nice little meter and uh, one of my favorites. There you go. Get that nice focus there. All right. That's it for this video. I'm going to switch and go to... Uh, the next video will be uh, the uh, more expensive meter.